right now i'm signing into my oracle cloud and i'll show you how to deploy oracle data integrator marketplace image it is quite simple this is my cloud console as you can see and then th these are different services which i have access to um, for oracle marketplace image we just need to go to marketplace uh, click on your left hamburger menu go to marketplace and then once everything is loaded you, you can see different kind of images which we have which are supported on marketplace let us search for oracle data integrator there we go and we we also have guides which shows how to get started with odi uh, you need to select your compartments make sure you have compartments and you have all policies in place this is where you can create your compartment today i'll be creating odi image in austin hub so this is the compartment where my odi would be running this is where i would deploy my marketplace image so let us go to marketplace and see how simple and easy it is to deploy oracle data integrator so this is odi and you just need to select your compartment we'll go to training and we can select austin hub and yes i have viewed so this is like really simple you can just name it what odi Ronak. and then you need to paste your ssh keys make sure you have your vcn and all the networking components set up and just with the click of button you would have your odi up and running I already have uh, Oracle Data Integrator running, so I would not create another instance for now. All right, so as you can see, this is ODI CS, which I created. Uh, this is the image version, version 1.0.2, and this is the IP address. So we need to SSH into this IP address in order to set ODI CS. So let us establish our tunnel and see. So our ODI CS is hosted on this IP address. I'll be tunneling into my ODI CS and with help of UNC viewer, we can see. Let's turn it into my So right now I'm tunneling into ODI. And over here you can see we have ODI up and running. It just takes couple of minutes to load. And just like that we have ODI CS up and running. So let's connect it to repository. And then it takes couple of minutes to establish connection with your work repository so essentially repository is central component of the architecture in odi it stores configuration information about your it infrastructure metadata of all the applications project and scenarios and execution logs administrator developers and operators use ODI studio to access the repository this user interface is used for administering the infrastructure security topology reverse engineering of metadata developing project scheduling operating and monitoring the execution so as you can see we are in so basically ODI studio provides four navigators for managing different aspects and steps of integration project first let's look into designer navigator designer navigator is used to manage metadata this is 
Yes, sir. As I was saying, uh, designer navigator is used to manage metadata, to design data integrity checks, and to build transformation. The main objects someone can handle with uh, design navigators are models and projects. So these are the different projects which I have hosted, and these are my models. And uh, models is nothing but a connection to my database which shows which kind of tables I have in specific database. So this is my order application database and these are different tables in that database. And uh, I have sales administration. We'll jump into this in a bit. Uh, second uh, is our operator navigator. Operator navigator is a management and monitoring tool. It is designed for IT operations and it can be used by developers to check code execution and performance debugging operations. Though operator, uh, through, operator, uh, through operator navigator, you can manage your development execution in session as well as scenarios. Let us see, I have not executed anything today or maybe this week there was something executed. But then I'll execute one more mapping just to show how it works. And then we we have uh, topology uh, topology navigator is used to manage data describing information of systems physical and logical architecture through topology navigator you can manage the topology of your information system technologies and their data types so you, you can you can add different technologies you can uh, with help of odi you, as i said it, it is heterogeneous you can connect to n number of technologies and these are the different technologies which are supported by ODI right now. Meaning you, you, you literally have all the technologies which you can think of. It has MySQL, it has IBM DB2, it has, it has literally everything. IBM DB2, Amazon Redshift. So meaning it's a heterogeneous, you can connect to any of the sources you want. And today we'll be dealing with uh, a couple of Oracle database. This is my source and this is my target database, but I'll jump into demo in a bit. I'll let me talk a bit about security navigator. Uh, it is tool for managing security information in uh, ODI. Through security navigator, you can create users roles and profiles and assign user rights for methods that is edit, delete, etc. on generic objects that is data server data types and fine-tune these rights on object instance uh, so these are basically four topologies with which you can control entire oracle data integrator and various aspects of it so let's jump into demo now so for this demo i'll be moving data from my source database to my target database in source database i have order applications data and in my target database i have i have sales administration data so I'll be moving data in my source database to my target database. So before that, uh, let me see if I have, if we are successfully connected to database. So uh, this is how you can uh, add new connections to your database. You will, you can create new connections. Just give a right click, a new data server, and then it would ask you for details. You, you need to have JDBC. Each and every technology that supports JDBC can be connected with ODI. So as you can see, I have JDBC drivers installed. It comes with JDBC driver. So let, let me go ahead and test connection. And connection was successful for my source database. Go ahead and test connection for my target. And yes, connection was successful, of my, successful for my target database as well. So as you can see we have successfully established connection so once connection is established you can go to models and then uh, within models you can see what kind of tables uh, what what kind of tables your database has right so in order to move data from source to target we need to create mapping and uh, let me close a couple of tabs over here minimize model go to sales administration and then i have prepared i have created ample of mapping so here but let us see how we can create mapping so it's a simple right click you can hit 
hit new mapping you can give me movie yeah. Johnny map CR 2 TRG something like that and as simple as that you can you can create mapping also on the right hand side you can see various operators which you can use on your tables you can join tables you can look up you can flatten your data and these are like just different uh, operators which you can use so it and uh, creating member is creating mapping is pretty simple you just drag and drop you you just drag and drop from models and your data would be moved as soon as you run the mapping sure so this is the mapping which i have created it's so let us see a couple of mappings which i have created i'll try to run those mappings and uh, as soon as you try to run a mapping you can see a lock sign appear so that no other developer can modify this as your mapping is running right now so let us see how to run our mappings so first i'll see if mapping is successful it says yes mapping is successful it was successfully validated and then that's how you run a mapping So session has started so basically uh, right now data has been moved from source region and to target country let us go and check if the mapping was successful that map ran successfully as you can see with tickmark over here it was successful you can go and check you would you would see status over here that it was done successfully This is a high level overview of ODI. Please let me know if you have any questions and thank you for your time today.